Hi, everyone. We discussed in a prior short video how important it is for our body to be comfortable in meditation. When we're new at the practice, our body will revolt, whether it be an ankle, a knee, our lower back. So we want to build our nest to be comfortable. Meditation can't be taught, just like you can't teach someone how to sleep. But we can prepare our bedroom for optimal sleep, just like we can prepare our seat for optimal meditation. The second obstacle that we're going to face as new meditators is our thoughts. We want to reel them in so that they are smooth and fluid and not spinning out in all directions. We don't want to wrestle with a problem while we're meditating. We don't want to think about something from the past and ruminate over that. We want to stay fresh in the moment and it helps to have props for that. Okay, So we have our mantra. Most of you have a mantra already. A mantra, the literal Sanskrit meaning of mantra is repetition of the name, capital N, the name of God. That could be your mantra if that feels comfortable for you. It could be a benign word as long as it's positive. Your mantra could be one word or two words. If it's one word, you inhale and repeat that word with your mind's voice. You exhale and repeat that word again. If it's two words, inhale the first word, exhale the second word. Don't ever change your mantra. Don't flip those two words around if it's two words. Keep it the same consistency and in order and sequence. Other tools that we have for meditation besides mantra uh, is the repetition, as I just said, of that mantra, which is japa. So you keep that repetition going. Sometimes we lose it because we're thinking really hard about something, but then we just go back to it. We start again, start again. Another technique is touching beads, whether it's a string of pearls, a rosary, or a mala, uh, which is Sanskrit for necklace, a string of beads. We've all seen those. It could be a bracelet or a necklace-sized string of beads. doesn't matter how many beads are on the, on the string. With, with each breath, you touch a bead. Inhale, exhale is a bead. Next breath, inhale, exhale is a bead. I use that method. If you don't have beads, another method to use is the finger touching method. For those of us that are right-handed, we're already in chin mudra when we're sitting. So if you're right-handed, you go to your right hand with your mind and you're already touching the first finger, so that's one breath, second breath, third breath, fourth breath, fifth breath, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we go back to the right hand, touching off the breath. So it's not so much about counting as it is about that sensory perception of touch. It helps to keep the mind focused. I'll see you soon.